easy mobile site generated version 4, we introduced a new set of forms handling, um, custom forms, and I'm going to go through the design of a custom form now. Now, there's quite a bit to cover in custom forms, so I'm actually going to just cover the design in this video, and there'll be a separate video explaining about the handling of the submissions and the data files. So watch that other video to see how that part's handled. This video is only about the actual design. So I haven't got any forms set up on this particular uh, installation yet. So all I do to create a new form is come down here to where it says Easy Mobile Forms, click that, and then when I get this screen, I just click Add New. That lets me add a new form. So I put the title here, I'm just going to call this one Test Form. And here, just below, I have the types of uh, fields that I can add to the the form. So a text field is a normal input field. A text area is a larger input field. An email, a date, and the date is a date picker. Uh, the email will do email validation. A select, which is a, a drop down select box. A check box. Radio buttons. If you need to pass any information to your uh, data file, then you can use hidden fields to pass data values across. Um, obviously you need a submit button on each form and then we have some text elements you can use you can ha add a header, a subheader, a paragraph and a line so that lets you put the text elements within the form itself in between the individual fields in case you need to break the form and do some explaining of what people have to fill in on the forms so let's go ahead and just actually start creating the form. What you'll find happens as I add fields to the form, down here where it says form preview, then we'll start building up a preview of our form as we go along. So let's start off by uh, just putting a normal input field. And in here all I do is I put the label that I want to use. So let's say I want to have your name. So get them to put their name. Whether the label position is at the left, or top, top or above. Um, obviously, when we're talking about a, a, a mobile phone, you only have a small amount of space to actually put it in. So here, in left, you can see it's put it at the left. It has the input box on the right. Now, when someone uses a mobile phone and they're actually entering these input boxes, it doesn't really matter so much that they are only half the width of the screen because it brings up uh, an edit window for them for each field in the mobile phone. Okay, so I've added a field there called your name. Um, let's add another one. Let's say we want their email as well. Uh, so let's just put um, your email. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because I should have made that into an email uh, type. Let's change this. Let's, let's ask them for their occupation. Okay, so we add that. So that gets added there as well. Let's put an email type. Um, so we want there your email. Dead. And you can see as I'm going along here, the form is being built for me below. So I can see exactly what I'm putting on there. Um, if I want to change the theme to see what it looks like in different themes, um, let's try let's try this one orange on white and see what it looks like with that. So there's how it looks on an orange and white. Um, I've got a one for hair salon. Let's look at what it looks like on that one. That's what it would look like on my hair salon site. Um, what else should we do? Blue on blue. Let's look at that. See what it looks like on there. So you see it's very easy to change the colour schemes and see what it's going to look like on any of the various themes that you have. So let's continue on adding some, some more uh, fields here. Let's add a, a select box. Okay, so here we put the, the label for the select box. Let's ask them what type of phone they have. Uh, label. Phone type. Okay, all you need to do to get the drop down the selects is put each option that you want on an individual line. So let's say um, Android um, iPhone 
Samsung and um, that one. Let's make it a Blackberry. Uh, maybe they've got a Nokia or a Windows phone. Okay, so all I do is update that now. And now I've got a uh, select. Let me just go back down. So there's my select with all my options in there. Ah, and I did it wrong on the, uh, the label there. If I want to edit that, then all I do is come back up here to the edit button. And let's just change that, fix that up. Type, update. And it's all done. So you just add things like this. Um, if you need to delete any, just hit this and this will delete it for you. Um, let's have a checkbox. Um, do you use email? Uh, so, let's just put yes. The, the value here for the checkbox is only really put for if you're using the data capture, it will put this value in the uh, data file that it creates, otherwise it will put a blank. Um, what else shall we put? Let me just show you where that went to, so I've got that. And on this you can either have your checkbox at the left, in the centre or at the right. Let's let's make that a, a centred checkbox, so I'll just edit that again and put it in the centre. Update. And so it's put it in the centre for me now. So just so it, it uh, looks nice like the rest of the uh, the form here. Um, what else should we add? Radio buttons. Um, um, favorite food. Maybe yes. Just like that. That's okay. Pasta. Steak. Um, maybe we're vegetarians, usually, you, you, you get the idea anyhow, put that, and let's see what we've got down there, so we've got pasta steak, muesli, um, what else should we do, we've done radio buttons, Let's just show you how to uh, you put a header in there. So let's put a header, and you just put the header text in here. Um, this is big header text. And update that. And show you what happens there. So that puts text in like that. If you want maybe just a, a paragraph of text, you just put some text here. So Paragraph text goes here. You can write some instructions for using the form. Whatever you want to put there. Update that. Go look at our form again. So now we've got paragraph text as well. So maybe I put a, another field underneath that. Um, what should we put there? We'll put the city. Maybe we want to know where they live. So now we go down. You see I've got paragraph text above the city. So I could have put an explanation of what we needed them to fill in in that particular place there. Now if you want to reorganize your form, then all you have to do is just drag and drop the fields to where you want them. Maybe, for example, the city fields. I want the up here after occupation, so let's just drag that up to underneath occupation. And if I look now at my form, you see the city field is now up there. Um, maybe I want the, the checkbox for use email to be right at the very bottom, below the paragraph. So let's just drag that and pull that down to the bottom. And there we have it down there. So you see it's very, very simple to create the forms and design them. Now one thing about the design I should mention is that if you're using the data capture, which I'm going to explain in a different um, video, the order of the form is the order in which the data gets put in the uh, data file. 
and it's in comma separated format so each it, it needs to be consistent so you really you need to get your form designed correctly before you start using it for data capture because if you change the layout of the form after that and move things around then the fields in the data file will get changed and they'll be in the wrong order now there's two ways you can handle that either get the, the the form designed correctly before you start using it but if you do have to uh, change it for any reason then you can always just reorder the fields in Excel or something like that and then upload the data file back to your website and continue using it from there but you have to be very very careful at doing that um, it effectively really you should think that once you design the form that that's it the data file will stay in the same format all the time that's the best way to do it you, you do have options for deleting the data file and so starting with a fresh data file you pull it down and merge data files if you want but really I try to get the form designed correctly first from the very beginning before it goes live and then once it's live then you don't have to do anything with it so you see how the form looks now to actually get it looking exactly the same as that on a website the only thing we have to do is go and get the short code for this particular form which is this one here a little bit there from there this little short code there just get that copy that into your the mobile website page and that's it that form will appear on that mobile website page so it's as simple as that very easy to use very easy to get your layout correct and uh, in the next video i'll show you how we go about uh, defining the file for data capture and getting data capture and what the data actually looks like